Leonardo da Vinci once said, the time will come when men as I will look upon the murder of animals as they now look upon the murder of men. Good morning, my name is Lizzie Bongo. I chose this topic because as someone who owns a cat, I want him to be happy and grow up safely. I want everyone to see how these poor animals are being abused. This topic is relevant to everyone because most of us own pets and most of us have left our pets home for college. And I want everyone to see how da the damage of killing these animals. Today I'm going to tell the class the reasons why we need to stop over abusing animals. Key points I'm going to discuss are first, how and why hunting is animal abuse. Secondly, I'll talk about how people who eat meat are technically abusing animals. And finally, I'll talk about how we need to treat our animals more like friends and family. First, I'd like to talk about how and why hunting is considered animal abuse. According to PETA.org, almost 40% of hunters slaughter and maim millions of animals every day. And by estimates, poachers kill just as many animals illegally. Hunting had a purpose almost 100,000 years ago when we needed to hunt or survive. But times have changed and there's easier and more humane ways to get animal meat if you feel like you want to eat it. Animals suffer as they die after being recreationally hunted. Some hunters wait and have the animals die slowly while watching if the first shot doesn't kill the animal. Some are more humane and will kill the animal to stop it from suffering. Nature takes care of its own. So that being said, when you hunt one distinct animal for a certain period of time, that animal could go extinct. So if you were hunting deer and you only killed deer for about a year and everyone else in the world only killed deer, that whole race of animal would be gone. That's food for a higher animal and the deer is, eats the lower animal. So now there's an overpopulation of the lower animal and the higher animal is starving because it needs to eat the deer. Hunting is cruel and not needed. You can go to a hunting range instead of hunting these poor animals. There's electronic ranges where you can shoot and kill animals in a humane way because they're not real and you can still have the recreational benefits of hanging out with friends and hunting together. So now why is eating these hunted creatures considered abuse as well? The second topic I'd like to talk about is that meat lovers are technically abusing animals. If you're eating an animal that was raised with the only intention of being slaughtered, you're abusing the animal's right. These animals are kept in dangerous conditions and only raised for food. They have no choice but to live to die. In a journal article written by BBC, a British news journal, if you accept that animals have rights, raising and killing animals for food is morally wrong. No matter how humane the animal is raised to become food, it's morally wrong to do. The basic fact is that humans don't need meat or fish to survive. Lowering our demand for meat would save countless animal lives. If one family decided not to eat meat for an entire week, a butcher would notice a surplus of that certain meat. He'd then tell his providers not to slaughter as many animals as, as he doesn't need to sell them. So why should we decide to treat our animals the same way we treat our family? That brings me to our third and final point. We need to change our treatment of animals. Dr. Tom Regan, an American philosopher who specializes in animal rights theory, stated that animals are not only in the world, they are aware of it. What happens to them matters to them. Each has a life that fares better or worse for the one whose life it is. Equal treatment clearly can't occur, but consideration can take place. If you have the choice between tofu or a burger, choose the tofu. Animals suffer from the treatment they get. Videos prove this of cows crying as they're branded and forced places, and cats screaming while they're kicked. Everyone's seen the videos on television that the ASPCA provides. Dr. Tom Regan is known for his questions about animal abuse. Some of them are this. If you wouldn't hit your brother, why kick your dog? If you wouldn't eat your dog, why eat a cow? And if you wouldn't want to be trapped in a dangerous place, why would you do it to another animal? For my visual aid, I'd like to use a graph on animal abuse cases recorded in 2014. Neglect and abandonment make up most of the chart with about 32.17%, followed by hoarding and then finally shooting. Other key animal abuses that are recorded in this chart are fighting, beating, theft, poisoning, kicking and stomping, and burning from fire or fireworks. I also include this graph for a visual to show just how big of a percentage 
neglect, hoarding, and shooting actually are in animal abuse cases. I understand to stop the abuse of animals is a lot for some of us to take on. It's a lifestyle change, but the time has come for us to be considerate and understand how our personal gain is hurting the animals around us. What can you do? Like I said before, you can hunt in a closed range and still have the recreational benefit of hunting with your friends, but not actually hurt any animals. Eat less meat. Instead of having a burger five days out of the week, try to have tofu or maybe a black bean burger where no animals are hurt or involved. I'm not asking to not eat meat at all, but maybe consider to have it a little less. Be considerate. The same rule we learned in elementary school, to treat others the same way you want to be treated, should be applied when dealing with animals. And finally, the most important is to donate. Donate anywhere that will help an animal, like ASPCA or PETA. In conclusion, key points I talked about today were first, why and how hunting is animal abuse. Second, why people who eat meat are technically abusing animals. And finally, why we need to treat animals more like how we treat our family and friends. Have you, ever, have you ever wondered what was considered animal abuse and how you could stop it? Now that I told you a little bit about how animals are abused, slaughtered, and not treated fairly, you can make the choice to be a more humane person. To quote Dr. Tom Regan one more time, If you wouldn't hit your brother, why kick your dog? And if you wouldn't eat your dog, why eat a cow? Thank you, my name is Lizzie Bongo.